You guys asked for it. You voted on it. Extra Sister won the combo-oriented portion of our community page where guys wanted to see Extra Sister up next, so we're covering it. Extra Sisters basically are a light spellcaster archetype that really are based off of each other being able to spam the field and have so many other cards, whether that be the generic extenders like Ran Ryu, Gigabyte, etc., etc., to be able to follow up and, and extend and extend further onto the field. With this specific combo, I wanted to show Stella and Elise, and with these names, specifically these names correspond to each other, as well as some of the other names which we'll get into as we go farther into the video. But in this specific one, Elise and Stella both interact with each other and spam each other out on the field if you control one or the other. Makalese is the exceed that helps you to, some, to search for a spell or trap with Extra Sister in its name. And in this specific combo, Amento is the card that I wanted to search because it helps you to basically quick exceed like a, a Zodiac style of effect during your opponent's turn to be able to interrupt what your opponent is doing. Now, in each of these specific scenarios that you would pass to your opponent, you would have a different card on the field. Specifically, now guys, each one of these exceeds specifically corresponds to a different style of effect of controlling what your opponent wants to do on their turn. Amentu is the card that pretty much helps you to jump into the exceed and kind of shapeshift in a way. Specifically, Jabreen says negate the monster's effects while you Sophiel basically says that anything in your opponent's graveyard as far as card effects is concerned is turned off and then obviously cast Patel pretty much negates any type of special summoning that would go on in a Necro Valley type of type of way. As far as the next combo guys I again wanted to show some of the other targets that you can actually attempt to grab with Stella and Elise both being the wheels to everything and again the names do correspond and make sure that you understand that about this deck that the names specifically correspond to another name and packs will help you search that when you actually get to that but as far as extending into the other cards the other cards that you can actually search, whether that be the Exorcister Vadis, which is the trap card that can help you specifically grab the trap, the monsters out of your deck, and then be able to leap directly into more extension of Exorcisters on your opponent's turn. Carpetta Bell giving targeting protection. Pax being the searcher that helps you to grab pretty much anything that you want. And then I've already showed you Amento being able to help you shape shift with the exceed monsters that you already have. Now, obviously, guys, the Vadis trap card is a really, really powerful card, and it doesn't necessarily require you to end on the Exorcister um, board, so to speak. You can actually end on something else, whether that be Utopic Draco, whatever the hell you would want to end on yourself. It could be some other stuff with Invoked and Mechaba and stuff like that. But bottom line on your opponent's turn with Elaine and Sophia being the other two corresponding names to be able to summon out together, you again get to gain some life points, draw some cards and do the same thing as well as quick exceed pretty much if you have some other card that was um, adjoining as far as being on your opponent's turn, being able to stop what they're doing and then pretty much be able to build on stopping what your opponent wants to do. That is literally all of what this deck is trying to do. Again, guys, is to quick exceed on your opponent's turn and smack them with one of these cards that can basically stop them in their tracks once again. I do feel that this is pretty much an engine, but with this basic understanding, let's get into some more combos. Alrighty, guys, so in this combo, I wanted to showcase if you open three names and they're three distinct names, then you can pretty much get to that fourth name each and every time with this one, Elise and Stella being the corresponding names. And then Sophia actually having Elaine inside of the deck. This is how you could actually extend into getting a further monster in your deck to be able to combo off even more. As far as these two, you've already seen how that goes. As far as, as this is concerned, is basically the LeBron and, and D Wade of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! as far as exorcisters are concerned. Because these two work in perfect tandem to be able to set up the same exceed summon, to be able to set up the same exact sort of search that you had before. As far as gaining life points you get an additional 800 if you have an additional name because you basically have an additional name to summon off with the Stella and then obviously Elise can get, help you gain 800 by itself so timing around this call you're already at 9600 as far as extension I wanted to show again Mick Elise helps you to basically get packs and packs will help you to get another card that will help you to search out what you don't have as far as that you do have the Sophia in the graveyard Therefore, when you actually go to search 
or you can just leave the Sophia face up on the field. It really doesn't matter. You're literally going to get to search out the same way and then special summon out the Elaine much the same way because you have a Sophia in your graveyard. And then from there, you're getting to exceed again into another one of the exceeds and as always you always have options and obviously it's it's going to depend d at least a little bit on what your opponent is playing most definitely on what your opponent is playing to be able to stop what they're doing it may just be that you just go into exceed and then from here you discard those two or detach those two and then go into the next material and this is where i wanted to talk about Exorcister magnifica Magnifica basically is unlocking a new mechanic as far as exceeding on top of exceeding, which is a little bit strange. But the quick effect says you can detach one material from this card and banish one card your opponent controls. Obviously on your opponent's turn as well, when your opponent activates a card or effect as a quick effect, you can turn one XYZ monster attached to this card and then basically make it the new exceed monster and this the new uh, material so that can be really really interesting as far as being able to shape shift into one of the other exceeds and then basically rank back down into them to be able to either dweller like effect turn off them being able to special summon etc etc for the rest of the turn and because it's a quick effect for the rest of the turn your opponent will be locked into whatever effect that that actually is and this combo I wanted to show why the PAX card is such a good card. Now, obviously, guys, I've already showcased in that last combo, but I just wanted to show you in this combo as well. If you have Sophia, Sophia's corresponding name is Elaine. And whether you have it in your hand or you do not, I'll just show specifically that the quick play is a copy of whatever name that you do not have. So if you have Sophia, you have Elaine. If you have Elise and you have Stella, like that, that is specifically how the deck plays but it doesn't really matter on that level because you can literally have some of the other exorcisters in the graveyard and it will still help you search just fine as far as this combo though you're starting off with sophia then special summoning out elaine because you have sophia on that side of the field again gaining some life points but then this time you're actually getting to draw a card and make sure you read all of the exorcisters because they all have an additional effect whether that be to draw a card and put a card back outright draw a card or just outright search a card it literally depends on whatever the card specifically says but in this combo again you're you're literally going for a way to be able to stop your opponent from having a, a way to target you as well as flat out end on something now obviously you could end on magnifica if you wanted to but in this combo i wanted to show what happens when you actually declare an attack and this carpeta bell card is on the field when an attack is declared involving your extra sister monster you get to target a spell or trap your opponent controls and destroy it that could get really niche and it can actually affect you a little bit. And obviously, if you're going against a deck like Eldritch, that could be really, really strong in being able to pop something. But this deck should already beat the hell out of Eldritch anyway, because you're moving stuff in and out of the graveyard. Now, with the specifics of the Majestus cards, um, I wanted to show why you see that in deck lists with Zoroa, the, Ma the Majestus of Flame. And there actually is a deck that's built around this card specifically. But in this specific combo, you're getting to equip an Artemis or any other Majestus from your extra deck. So in this specific combo, I just wanted to show what happens when you actually pick Artemis, you get to equip it. And then because you have it equipped, you get to special summon out a spellcaster, which is what Zoroa gets to do. From there, because Majestus is pretty much equipped to that, Artemis is equipped to that, you could then go into uh, grabbing another card and then from there, special summon something out. And then from there, go into a Borolo Savage or basically any other thing and then end on something from there. But that would literally take you experimenting. As far as the Time Thief combos though, I literally wanted to just show a, a little bit more of how versatile this deck is and this is where i feel that that the deck and the understanding of the deck is all going to pretty much base out of what do you exactly want to do with the deck exorcister is not good enough by itself i'm telling you that before you even test this deck play test with your friends play test on your own go through solo hands on your own this deck is not good enough by itself you're going to need to mix it with something in my opinion that would be time thieves in my opinion that would be utopia invoked with dogmatic it's going to mix into one of these decks and these are the specific combos that basically with the time thief coming back to your field having a a, a basic 
Omni Negate, as well as the Trap card being able to hand you off some more extra sister cards, and then the Quick Play being set as well to help you leap directly into a Quick Play to be able to stop your opponent's turn. That is a really, really, really powerful effect. And in this last combo, I wanted to show exactly how the Utopia stuff would come off looking. As far as being able to, to exceed search some cards like the rank up magic spell card then be able to special summon out another zw card because you have sage detaching for an effect and then being able to search exorcist or vadis as far as having a generic trap card that can help you as you pass the turn to your opponent ending on a utopic draco or a magnifica as well as some other cards is also really really insane as far as this last combo guys that i really wanted to show the Zexal rank up obviously is a really, really powerful card as well that you may want to consider. And in any of these mashups, I feel that Exorcist of Vadis is the correct card to search because it doesn't actually require you to end on anything that says Exorcist on it. And the trap card can help you to extend into your opponent as well. As far as equipping a card like Twin Saber to a card like Utopia Ray and then being able to interrupt your opponent and then target an effect monster and turn its effect off, as well as set the trap card for the Exorcist or Archetype, is a really, really decent inboard. And I'm not going to say that's meta, I'm not going to say that's anything specifically rogue, but I definitely feel that this is a real threat to have another engine alongside of this deck. As far as playing the pure version or the pure-ish version or the version that you would see the most, I could go on and on about the hero engine, about playing Dragoon. You guys already know all that stuff. What I'm trying to focus on is the specific engines that are actually going to be here for a while. And whether you want to play the Exorcist straight up by themselves, whether you want to add the stuff like Gigabyte and Nefarious and Minari Flame and then so many of these other cards to just basically have you have spellcaster support flying out of your deck this is a really really interesting choice as far as the side portion again literally just covering everything that you could possibly play generically as far as mixing into this this uh powerful archetype and engine into uh one big ass crazy ass engine that just special summons out a lot of the spellcasters. Trish Magistus is a card that I thought was really, really interesting because you don't really necessarily have to play the Magistus stuff. This can just help you to spam out the spellcasters out of your hand. But obviously, if you're playing a card like Zoroa, it's definitely something that you should consider as far as playing inside of the deck. Vafrim is a really, really interesting card as well that I feel you should have inside of your extra deck. And you're really going to have to read all of the Magistus cards because they all have really, really interesting effects, whether it be to change control, to be able to attack multiple times, defend yourself on, on, a, on a higher level. There's just so much to, to really cover. It would take me forever to really break it down. And we're doing a Magistus combo video at the end of next week anyway. As we move on into uh, some of the other potential ideas as far as playing the Exorcist stuff, I wanted to showcase um, Utopia. I do feel that Utopia is a good mashup for the deck because it gives you a lot of generic monsters to fly out onto the field. Time Thieves is a, also another variant that I feel that will, will clearly impact the metagame a little bit because people will be experimenting with this deck. And I don't necessarily think any of these are that phenomenal that they're going to be earth shatteringly meta, but I definitely feel like you have to really experiment with this deck and this deck will go right in there with Dogmatica, right in there with Invoked, right in there with Utopia. As far as engines that you can really manipulate and mess around with guys, let me know what you think about this archetype down in the comments and stay tuned because we got plenty more combos coming. Hope you're having a happy holiday season. Happy new year to you. Make sure you come to the Owl's Nest where you can drop and get some merch and mats. And I'll see you next time. Pegasus out. Ciao, Baylor.